I'm going to use the telescope setup you see in front of you to take a picture of close to the bright star Sirius in Orion. It's the Seagull Nebula. More specifically, IC2177 inside the Seagull Nebula. That object is actually quite large. For this setup here, I'm actually gonna be cropped in a little bit to isolate that one area of the Seagull Nebula. I wanted to talk about reducers on a telescope system and why I love them and they're so powerful. Oftentimes you'll find a reducer flattener combination. A flattener seems pretty obvious. It flattens the field, sharp stars to the edge of the field. But when you see a reducer, whether it's 0.8 times or 0.65 times in the case of the one I'm using here, that actually pulls back the focal length and widens the field of view for your particular camera and telescope configuration. But it also, and arguably more importantly, reduces that F ratio, the F stop on your telescope. And in this case, that brings it back from F 5.5 to F 3.5. In the world of astrophotography, that is a very powerful thing because it means that it can collect more light in the same amount of time using the same equipment. So it's pretty remarkable and it almost doesn't even seem possible. But if you've seen speed boosters for DSLR, mirrorless cameras and lenses, it's the same idea. So it's the opposite of what a teleconverter does. A teleconverter brings you out further and stops down and the image gets darker. This is the reverse of that, so think of the design that way. The camera I'm using, the ZWO ASI 533 MC Pro, it's a one-shot color astronomy camera with cooling. It has a one-inch sensor, 3000 by 3000 pixels, nine megapixel sensor. So it's actually quite a tight field of view, which is great on certain objects, right? It pulls you in and you get crops into a nice field of view on a, on a smaller object. But on this large object that I'm shooting, the Seagull Nebula, at the native resolution with this sensor and this telescope configuration, it's a little too tight. So I'm using the Starazona Apex 0.65 reducer to pull it back a little bit in focal length, brings this telescope to 350 from 550 millimeters and that F ratio, like I said, down to 3.5 from 5.5. Here's a look at the Starazona Apex 0.65 reducer flattener here. It's threaded directly to the focuser, a two inch focuser on the Esprit 100. It sits inside the focus draw tube, which is nice. It doesn't add any extra length. I'll just pull it out here. So there it is there, it's a 30 millimeter image circle. Threads nicely to the imaging train here and it's actually 58 millimeters of back focus you need for uh, my particular refractor that at, sits at 550 millimeters. So that brings it down to about 350 and F 3.6, which is a really speedy system into uh, astrograph territory. So this is the L version that was designed for refractors of over 500 millimeters. And there's also an S version for 500 and under. So the imaging train is here. I was able to find my back focus with some spacers and the filter drawer, which is so handy, uh, just slides right in there. And then of course the ASI camera right at the end. So as you can see, that reducer kind of changes everything. The types of targets that are available to me now, the exposure times can be reduced. So this one little item can make a huge difference on your entire rig. So the plan is tonight to shoot the Seagull Nebula IC2177 from the backyard. I've got a light pollution filter and I'm using the Starazona filter drawer here. This is the Optolong L Pro. It will help with the light pollution and I'm gonna capture four minute images, which should be enough to expose the object enough so I can actually play with the data in processing and pull it out. With a filter like the L Pro, it should capture pretty natural looking stars. Some of these harsher filters can kind of turn everything red. I want to capture the cool blues and the oranges and the yellows in those stars. So hopefully this filter is a good choice for this target and that those four minute exposures are enough to do it justice. As always, I'll be auto guiding the setup. I've got the uh, William Optics GuideStar 61 guide scope here, the ASI 290mm mini guide camera, and yeah, the EQ6R Pro, as you've seen many times on this channel. So hopefully uh, things work out. It's a really cold night. It's supposed to go down to minus 15, but I'm pretty confident with this setup that uh, I've got things planned out properly for a nice photo, but we'll see.
Okay, so this is where I lost all of the audio I shot outside. It was so windy and cold, the microphone picked up pure noise. So I apologize, I can't include any of these scenes because the audio is just completely ruined. Also, I realize now the target that I shot really isn't the best example to show the benefits of a reducer and that wider field of view and faster optics, but you'll see what I mean. Anyway, back to the video.